What is going on guys? We're back with another video today. I'm trying to slow it down, but I'm just so quick. I'm used to this intro, like 2,000 of these damn intros times, like all the times I've messed up. But we are going to see what it takes to get these X-Factor scenarios completed. Of course, we, you know, we can get these if you're really lucky. But if you're like me, you're never lucky. It's like watching an adult video. We know we're never going to get these women to do these disgusting acts that no one should even ever think about. But we still get to be the creepy guy in the corner giggling and that's uh, that's about it. That's that's all you do when you watch those videos. You just giggle in the corner. That's it. <laughs> but what I've done here, the sneaky little Weasley self myself has done is make a lot of players superstar development. I know this is a little bit questionable because... I don't know if overall plays a factor. Hopefully it doesn't. Gallup will be the number three. I don't even know why Dez is around here. I know quarterback can't get it, but basically if my joke outweighed the actual premise of the video, which it probably did, they added X-Factor scenarios, meaning that not only can you get normal to star, star to superstar, but you can also get superstar to X-Factor. Every single position got it except for fullback, kicker, punter, and quarterback. Basically the positions no one cares about anyways outside of quarterback <laughs> i know it is also based on performance so i will try to at least get one for the wide receivers and running backs but maybe in the process we'll get one for the ais as well we will put this on force wins so it's a weird it's not even really an experiment it's just i you guys can join me on this weird journey that's it you know what it is it's an information video all right if there's anything i can offer to the youtube community it's clearly precise knowledgeable information about things if i mean if that wasn't already clear i mean who have you been watching this whole time uh, that's all i am is just an information machine and i almost just gave the the patriots a, a home win the the patriots are so good even when i force wins they almost picked up a win i actually like almost hit it but i think last second i slipped it back in which is what he's uh, distasteful so what we're going to do to start out, first week, I'm just going to advance, and I want to see if they get one, just based on their own... Damn it! I really was hoping we would have got one, so let's take a look at the uh, the injuries, see if that's off. Okay, that's all off. So we're going to at least show you the running back and wide receiver one. Will I be able to do the linebacker? I don't know. I really have no clue. Of course, it ends at 911. 911 passing yards, 357 rushing yards... We're going to be a little mad if we don't end up with a scenario. Uh, Dak had a, a decent game, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Metcalf, yeah, okay game. So on offense, I think we're going to have uh, some some players. Byron, maybe. Leighton Van Der Esch or Jalen, perhaps. Sack totals weren't great, but we did have a couple of numbers, so maybe a chance there. Let's find out. I mean, week two, um, if we don't get one, I'm going to be very disappointed. Because it's based on uh, performance, so... I don't know if it always triggers it or if it's very rare. What's the story? But let's find out now. Please, I just want a few. Really? Okay, so none even after an amazing performance. Group of performances like that. I believe we did move Byron Jones to a seven-year deal. Put him at 20. I just hope the um, overalls don't affect it. That'd be disappointing if that's the case. So we actually have a frustrated wide receiver instead of an X-Factor upgrade. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We got one. We got one. Bra view breakout player, Miles Garrett. Coach, you remember all those big plays I piled up last week? You remember how blah, blah, blah? Well, you can see what... Well, wait till you see what I do to the Eagles this week. I'm about to make a case as this league's premier defensive lineman. Ooh, this is tough. So, for Miles Garrett to get superstar X-Factor, he either has to hold the Eagles... To zero or to zero touchdowns rushing, or less than fifty rushing yards, or he needs to get three plus picks, force fumbles, tackles for loss, or sacks. That is very hard. <laughs> that is very hard. However, as a superstar defensive lineman, you're likely to get that right. The the sacks, not likely, but there's a chance you get that. Tackles for loss is probably the best bet though. Or if you're just playing a team that doesn't like to run the ball, I don't know. Maybe. Honestly, if you really want to commit to it, you could just cheese it. If you really, you know, if you're in a user league, cheese it. Just completely stack the box. Never let them run the ball. Maybe you could still win the game, perhaps. 
But you gotta remember, these are DevOps chances. At the end of the day, is it worth losing one game for that situation? I would say so. There's no chance I could win my... Yeah, there's not a chance. Not a chance you're gonna get that. Especially in a sim game. I'm not really too worried about it. We just wanted to see the scenarios. Okay, three sacks against the Jets. He got it from a three-sack performance. So, I don't know how, you know, consistent they need to be, but... Actually, let's take a look. Was it a back-to-back -back thing? I'm going to be really mad if it was because then we should have just did it back-to-back -back and we would have been fine. So, the not the Jets, not the Jets. So, against the Packers, how many sacks did he have? No, so I think it can randomly trigger from a singular good game. And here we go, another one. Running back week 12, Ronald Jones the second Thinks he can get it done. Let's see what he wants to do. Get Ronald Jones either four touchdowns total or... Or 200 plus yards rushing slash receiving. This one's not terrible. This one, so far of the two we've seen, definitely way more doable. The touchdowns, obviously you could force feed those, but I think the yards are actually very obtainable. 100 yards isn't terrible by, you know, not hard by any means. Frustrated running back. That's how the tables have turned. How quickly things can turn bad. All right, so another one. Uh, week 16. So breakouts, unless it's a new update, can be had Anytime, anywhere, like your mama. I'm sorry, I'm, I had to. It was there. Just like your mama. I'm sorry. Uh, so here's DK Metcalf, a wide receiver now. His goal is very hard. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, similar to Ronald Jones, four touchdowns receiving or 200 yards rushing slash receiving. I could say four touchdowns rushing, but let's be honest. It's unlikely he's going to get that. Obviously, it's a combination of the two. So far, the running back, in my opinion, is definitely the most doable uh so of the offensive breakout team teammate interested spin cycle and Lee. no please don't tell me leapfrog's a guarantee oh please don't no no but yeah there seemed like a quite a bit let's take a look at the stats obviously it's gonna be randomized we don't really know but let's take a look at the numbers you know not crazy spectacular we had a 400 yard rushing game with well 320 yard rushing game with Ronald Jones, he still hit 1,600. He got one. Metcalf, he had like 500 in one game, only ended with 1,500. He ended up getting one. Herndon didn't, and he had a decent game uh, season, even though he did have that big one from us. Uh, looking at sacks, Miles Garrett had one 12 and a half. So it really just comes down to like one lucky game, really. Let's keep simming and see if we can find uh, another one. But we also did confirm that it's not based on overall so uh, i don't know if it's based on age or anything like that but you cannot be too young to get one which i would assume most people would probably think that was obvious but you never know maybe the game wants you to wait sometimes so age doesn't affect it in a too early to get a dev up opportunity of course ronald jones gets a second breakout chance once again it's there it's not super common well it kind of is common but i'm starting to see that it seems a little too common i'm not I'm not liking how common it is. All right, so just to throw that in there, we uh, we did get Ronald Jones a breakout player, and we did complete it just to see what it is. You know why I love playing football? Because you only get respect when you earn it. And coach, I'd say I earned it today. Ronald Jones is now a superstar X Factor and can use a zone ability. Apparently, he's a receiver as well. He gets 5,000 XP. Let's take a look at what he actually earns just because... That is a guy that actually has a legit chance of getting Superstar X Factor in our Bucks League. I don't like these abilities, though. Spin, fair enough, I guess. I'm more of a juke man myself, but I guess I would learn as long as we can get to, you know, 90-ish spin. But yeah, you can see your linebacker, uh, DB, not super easy unless you're using those positions, making plays. But I'm almost a 1,000% sure, shout out to the guys in our Legacy franchise, they did mention once before that I'm pretty sure it's actually very similar to Miles Garrett. I don't think it's very specific. I thought it was going to be. But yeah, this is kind of an unknown topic on YouTube, Google. I, Madden's a big game, but franchise isn't that big enough of a mode for people to really look into it. So I really hope this guy you know, helped you guys out. So to recap, overall does not seem to affect whether or not they go from Superstar to X-Factor. Getting offensive ones, if you do get a scenario, it will be 200 yards rushing or receiving or four touchdowns rushing or receiving. That seems to go for the wide receiver, running back, and tight ends. Then looking at the defensive side of the ball, it looks like 50 yards rushing or less, zero touchdowns rushing, 
Or you can get three plus tackles for a loss or sacks, force fumbles, or picks. So a little bit harder on the defensive side. I think maybe the tackles for a loss would probably be the best bet, I would say. But from what I've seen to trigger it, the most likely thing, you know, defending probably three sacks, receiving, you know, about 130, 150, rushing one or two touchdowns, 120 to 150 yards at least. It doesn't really seem super hard. I think defenders, it's definitely harder to get. But at least now there's a little bit of a knowledge base to this. We now know what it takes uh, to get them. And uh, also when you actually get the scenario, how hard it is, which is, it's it's fair because it's a big move, but it's just, it's also uh, a little too common. Honestly, the way we've seen it, you know, it's not a user league, so maybe it's different, but we had, what, maybe two or three superstar to superstar X-Factor chances a year. I know we went 16-0 most of the years, but still, I don't know. I mean, there weren't crazy seasons. Some of them weren't even crazy games, so I'm not sure. Let me know what you guys think of this whole scenario. I think maybe they should have just left it with no X-Factor uh, scenarios. Hopefully, you guys, uh, help, you know, this helped you out. Who is a player in your franchise that you're really hoping you can get in scenario to X-Factor for in our 49ers franchise? Not going to lie, I think Godwin's probably our number one. I love O.J. Howard, but I just don't know if he's even going to get to superstar at this rate. And Ronald Jones is great, but after seeing these abilities, I'm not super, you know, I'm not even as hyped anymore. I was really hoping he would get Juke, uh, this Juke specialist one. And or even um, arm bar, which is obviously ridiculous. But, you know, no trucking, decent stiff arm. That's all I'm saying. And uh, that's pretty much that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any more suggestions for me, you know, hey, can you see what it takes to do this? Or, you know, what happens if, you know, the team is a zero overall and they win 15 games? I don't know. We did something like that before. But let me know in the comment section below. You will see 49ers franchise as well. And uh, some more fun videos later on in the week, uh, potentially including maybe a flashback Adrian Peterson. That's all I'm saying. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you come back for next video. But until next video, see ya!